because I got to run with him. Let's get some runs in, big bro. Uh, but look, skill-based matchmaking needs to be proven ground only. Nope, not at all. I like it in proven grounds. I like it in solo wreck. I like it in the, this, this 3v3s or whatever like this. Look at this. He actually passed the ball. Hey, guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Good afternoon, not that 2 k land, man. Check this out, man. So it all started with a tweet from that boy, yo boy, my boy, EJ, man. And uh, he just said this, man, not going to lie. These, these, some of the, I mean, I guess he's trying to say some of these. He put these first, but not going to lie. Some of these new streamers don't know how it feels to grind and just be they self. Uh, don't do stuff nowadays, but clout chase off me, steal all my videos and imitate my personality on TikTok. Stream, uh, and TikTok and stream just to pull views. They don't even give me credit or pay homage. And to be honest with you, sir, they never will. Imitation is the purest form of flattery. So you might as well just hey, say, hey, I'm flattered. I appreciate it. I'm glad that I spawned a whole generation. I had a whole group of people back in 2008, 2009 in Call of Duty acting out of body instead of everybody. Uh, how them Call of Duty videos used to be. Hi guys, it's uh, Nick1156. Uh, I'm out here um, on Call of Duty playing some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna run around here and uh, I'm gonna sit right here in camp and I'm gonna just shoot here and uh, knock this guy down and all that. And then Hard 8 came along and was like, shut the f up! Shut the f up! Man, we had to come out there with that, yes sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town, coming to you live with another commentary. I had the whole world singing, two piece, huh? Else, damn it, all that stuff, man. I had all that stuff, man. Spawned the whole network off that. People made millions of dollars, and I didn't see a single solitary motherfucking cent of it. So, it is what it is, man. Like, people are going to imitate you, bro. I have everybody. Uh, you have people coming up there saying, let's go out. Anything that anything that I was doing, people putting their spin on it and then, you know, you know, incorporating it into there. So, it's just it's just the purest form of flattery, man. Imitation is the purest form of flattery. And even though I didn't get a chance to make millions off of it, hey, I still have people that was 14, 15 at that time, tell me, man, I'm still, I'm 28, 29, 30 with kids. And right now, anytime I get a two piece on the game, I say two piece, uh, three piece, uh, you know, four piece snack, pack, all this stuff, man. So all this stuff, I mean, and then, then we just went sliding the dough back and getting butt ass naked on, on, on the game, man, I'm telling you, man. So it, it's just the purest form of flattery, man. It is what it is. Um, people are gonna go with what's hot and uh, you know, like, let's not act like none of us took inspiration from anybody else, you know, because like my boy Time 2407, you know, he, he the first person I used to play with that said that two piece, uh, but I just took it and took it to another level. So whether people know it or not, or that person is out there or not, we've all taken inspiration from somebody. So, hey, man, just take it as uh, take it as some, uh, you know, what, what would you call that? Uh, not inspiration, but take it as flattery and just keep pushing on because nobody can be you other than you, man. And other than that, man, hey, with all that out of the way, uh, what we got to say, man? Oh, we already said yes, sir, what's going on, everybody? Let's get right into the news, man. Check it out, bro. Uh, that boy Dime Works said, hey, man, when dudes... <laughs> this is too funny. When dudes that shoot with the button say, I got to find my rhythm. <laughs> bro, that's too funny, right? <laughs> because you have the opportunity to shoot with the rhythm stick. I'm going to shoot with the shot stick. I'm going to shoot with the I'm going to shoot with rhythm all year. I just I just become ingrained in me now. In the beginning, I definitely understand why people wouldn't use it because in the beginning, you you're you're staring at you feel like you're staring at the the uh person bearing down on you more than you're staring at what's actually going on. So, uh, you know, in the game. So, like it, it is what it is, man. It's one of those things where you're just sitting there like, okay, uh, once you get used to it, you're good, but it does take a while to get used to uh, on this game, man. But I, I mean, I'm telling you, if you're not hitting, I, if you're not hitting with the button, I implore you, please shoot with the shot stick, man. Like you shouldn't have to, I guess, or whatever. But they told that you told you that you would have a significant advantage if you did. So if you're missing, you owe it to your point guard and the rest of your team to keep taking L's with your trash ass to try it at least a couple of times, man. Up next, we got Boomy, and uh, it looks like uh, a lot of people want to talk about, you know, what the, what are some things that they want to. Uh, 
that they want to see change and uh boom and she started out with this and she said here's my list of patch changes in nba 2k25 and she says uh remove the post fade glitch that is a glitch with the rhythm shooting or what have you i just hope they don't have to touch rhythm shooting too much in order to do that but i'm sure they can fix that reduce input delay obviously we need that right there lane steals and offensive morphing to lose the ball definitely need to do something about that increase speed with ball i don't think they need to change the speed at all but i can dig it if you do um like i said one dude asked me uh what we proven in proven grounds that we can play the game slow as and uh I, I almost agree with him but your eyes and your hands and everything get used to it over time so i don't think we need to increase speed with ball because relatively speed with ball is right brute got 91 speed with ball and um i got night i have 90 speed and i'm like yo why can i not outrun you now in the court and he said the reason i couldn't outrun him was because he's got 91 speed with ball. So that's it. So he's like, you outrun me if I don't have the ball. But with the ball, you no chance. And dudes are moving on here. So I don't think they need to move, move, move change too much with that, man. I'll reduce time to stop your player. I can see that right there. And they say, in my opinion, shooting is uh, easier once you once the input delay is fixed. I think shooting is pretty easy right now, man. I think people uh I think people are hidden, bro. So it is what it is. Hey, A Cardi says, hey, they should never decide if you if you make or miss a shot uh it should it should only be up to me besides besides that you guys hit everything height caps uh improving grounds would be nice no rng and shooting too uh height caps nah no 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 well i, I see what you're saying so you play against similar people on the warrants or whatever so you got to be right there said, if there's a pure green window then then that definitely needs to be added back uh for for, for sure for sure and says the shot speed changing to me isn't a big deal if the input delay is fixed and he said i need i need to pass cross play on pc and my player cross progression i don't know if they got that said not happening this year they need uh there needs to be a a better nit they, 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 they listen bro they're never gonna let pc play with us so bro it is what it is that boy shoot everyone says he says uh things that need to be patched shooting needs to be more consistent i don't know how much more consistent they can make it if they make it any more consistent i'm not gonna miss y'all see what i've been doing the last couple of days everybody like it, it's just crazy when somebody come in the stream when one of the games when i'm going two for five or you know two for six or something like that and they, <laughs> you see everybody's having issues with shoes. shut the fuck up Shut the fuck up, like Hard Eight say, man. Listen, not everybody's having issue with shooting. You're going to have your games where you may just not be able to find your rhythm or you just can't, but we all gonna have bad shooting games. But as a whole, I shoot very well. If I if they make shooting any more consistent, I will not miss. I promise you that. Lane steals, got people like Randy Moss. Definitely need to change that. Baseline drives, drives you out of bounds. That needs to stay because people could, people abuse that. And if they change that any, then back doors are gonna be a, a, more insane because they're already pretty insane post phase post fade glitch unarguable yep takeover don't feel like takeover i'm not gonna lie about that but i think that the reason that the way that they change takeover is you're not getting a true takeover this year you're just gaining statutes when you're when you're playing so i'm okay with the way to take over is because i definitely feel my takeover when i'm out here playing if i see my takeover building up and um i see my takeover building up and um and going up and building up and building up and that's solid i look at that like you know i feel i can definitely feel that, that i'm hitting more shots and stuff like that so it's no big deal to me and this dude right here more walk man i'm telling you this guy first of all i didn't know he was a center so i'm trying to go back door on him and he just told me Shit out here, nigga. but then the next game he played with me man and i was like okay you're on my team now how are you going to play and like I said, my, my team, they didn't, they, we didn't we didn't play well this game right here, bro. Like, nobody played well. What, whatever, it is what it is, right? We lost the game. But then we come back in here, and then I see more walk. And I'm like, okay, he played he played like a demon against me. Let's see how he plays with me. And I'm not going to lie, I was not disappointed. But uh, he said, takeover don't feel like takeover. Saying all that to say this, to, to shoot's next point. Skill-based matchmaker. I even added uh, more walk after this, too, but because uh, I got to run with him. Let's get some runs in, big bro. Uh, but look. Skill-based matchmaking needs to be proven ground only. Nope, not at all. I like it in proven grounds. I like it in solo rec. I like it in the this, this 3v3s or whatever like this. Look at this. He actually passed the ball. Look at what he did, bro. Like, I was so shocked at this because they're coming up the court. They're coming up the court, and I'm wide open in the corner, all already wide open. The, the point guard don't make the pass. He made the extra pass, and you see I wasn't even ready for it, so I hesitated. So, but but you know it is what it is. Y'all see what happened happened after that, man. Cause dude really was hooping. But uh, he said, and I'm, am I missing something? The dude said, I said, uh, I kid you not. I shoot way worse when takeover is activated. A lot of people feel like that. I I love it. I be missing the contest system. But I feel like uh, 
Uh, yeah, 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 the contest system. We definitely need a better contest system to be more, more, like right now, he's standing right in front of dude. We don't know how much uh, perimeter he got, but man, he just shot right in his face. He's standing on his toes or whatever, man. So uh, at this point, you know, I decided I was gonna guard the point guard because I found some sauce uh, with guarding, with playing defense now, and I feel like I'm playing much better defense or what have you, but like I said, man, it's, it's just one of those things where it's nice to play with somebody. And he was out of position too, like I said. So if I had known, I'd have just taken shots. I just shot shot right over him and stuff like that. But man, the way that he was playing, I'm telling you, man, he was, was an unselfish way of playing basketball. And he was hitting his shots and he was just doing all the little stuff, all the dirty work and stuff right here, man. So, hey, it's one of them things where it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. But hey, this is what we're here for, the pH to resist stones, the main thing, what we're talking about, man, look. Looks like snitching in the Olympics have started in the 2K community. No honor amongst thieves. And I was wondering what he was talking about, man. And then I saw this, I saw these posts. Um uh I saw these posts uh from uh from uh uh from my guy. Where, where my guy? Where, where he at? Where, from, from the man Badgy Pluggy, man. And Badgy Pluggy was talking about this right here. Tell him something, Badge! Alright, guys, last night I figured out why Proving Grounds is broken on 2K25 right now, and today I'm going to explain it for you as well. So you see, yesterday's video, I was like 36 in the world, now I'm 15. We did not lose a single game last night. We did not do the glitch I'm going to tell you guys about. You can go watch every single game that was live recorded on Double H's channel. It is still up in the live category on his channel. But as you go to season rankings, 2v2, for example, this guy has 304 games played, a 71.1 win percentage. It would not make any sense possible that I'm number 15 with almost the same amount of games played and yet I've only lost about 10 of them. See what I'm saying? This guy right here, 140 less games, he's won less of the games win percentage wise and is still ahead of me. They are doing a glitch. I just got put onto it last night where basically your win percentage will go down However, on the leaderboard, it does not move you down for losing. So this guy is doing a glitch where he has a 71 win percent. It does move your win percent down, but it does not move you down on the leaderboards. You see what I'm saying? So as you see, number 15, I should easily be top five right now. 2K needs to fix this problem. The ranked mode is completely broken and more and more people are figuring out about it and the, uh, as the day goes. But like, why would I not do the glitch right now if I go into, you know, proving grounds and I lose a game? I should easily be top five without doing the glitch but as you guys see if you go to like for example 3v3 banta is number one with a 92.3 win percentage that's how you know these guys have actually earned their spot this guy right here he has been doing the glitch 70.6 win percentage there's no way in hell that he should be number nine if you go back to 2v2 you're gonna start seeing it a lot more like dude 69.4 win percentage 346 games played i might have won more games than that guy if you go over to 1v1 you see my boy stopped ali is not number one anymore 90.2 78.2 72.5 sorry repectual 77.2 like bro look at this the leaderboards are broken proving grounds is officially broken and 2k needs to not only fix it but count these losses for the guys that did the glitch mm. So he says they need to count these losses for the guys that did the glitch. It needs to be some type of LP or whatever where you get up or down or whatever. But that boy Laker fan came through and he said the 5 a.m. crash out. MF's talking about exposing me for quitting out of games. Here goes me exposing myself. But plenty of others on the top of the leaderboard are doing the same thing. I didn't know this was a thing until today. And now I see the secrets everyone else. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And now I see the secrets that everyone else been doing until the day. I mean, until the day she's just on the leaderboard, uh, being on top of the leaderboards with 60, 70, 80 win percents. And uh, when I played nothing but legit retaining a 92 percent, uh, I fess up that I participated in the dash in the day on games. We <laughs> games we were playing and we were about to lose, and I'm not I'm not uh, about to feel bad about it. When people have been farming this system for weeks longer than i have and that i am and that was uh top 20 uh with nine with a 92 win percent clearly abiding by the rules man but let's talk let's listen to him talk about it talk about it lego i'm in the wrong here so this is where we were at before even finding out about this whole dashboarding thing how you can just retain your rep and i hate that i'm even bringing this up to y'all in the first place but if i'm doing it i might as well be transparent with the fact that it's a thing right so if you're about to lose a game 
in Proving Grounds. You can just dash out of the game and boom, you'll retain your rep. However, as you can see, you do still lose the game on your record and it will affect your win percent. It won't affect your ranking or your status in there. But as y'all can see, out of 172 games played, I've lost 14 of them. So that's 158 and 14. That is nearly a 92 win percent, if not more than that, I believe. So now let's just let's just pull up the Twitter. Let's go to the, the notifications on that and talk about how we got, to him, as you can see, Grizzly right here, which granted, he beat me twice. And you can see he pulled up the box scores of it and all that stuff and talking about getting me banned and whatnot. All right, so look, obviously it is what it is. You know, it happened, he beat us good. That's just the true blue facts of it and right. stuff like that too. You know, I can dig it. to my tweets and it doesn't even follow me. But now let's talk about who's also debris brought up in this. Mm. So I'm not even here to name drop for that matter. I'm just talking like if we're talking who's doing it, I mean, beating Chalk and Badge and, and here goes Chalk Dang. dashing out of the game. And we have him beat. I'm talking, shit. we got, I got receipts of all this shit, bro. We got Dang. this dude, Glassy, who's like, Classy, Here, we Freddy got the Glassy? intros of him as well. Or, f for that matter, a motherfucker literally in barcode name. <laughs> so we're beating them as well. And guess where they're going? They're dashing before the game is even ending. Shit. I mean, he got out of it himself before it ends. So there's another dude that's doing it. We got this Glassy dude who is running the two bigs. I'm asking him, like, hey, what's the cheese with this whole dashing thing? Like, what's up with that? This is the second time we've played him. Two times in a row. Boom, he's out of there. Guess what he is as we load this up? Bro's literally the freaking number six rep in the in the whole world now you tell me if i'm in the wrong for this how am i supposed to compete with people like this who are doing this type of stuff if i'm not doing it as well here we go against this glassy dude again guess what happened the first time we played him dashing before the game ends you can see they're just standing still like not even not even playing as the game ends so i wasn't even hip to this being a thing uh before like this morning or t today when we loaded it up but it's like how are you supposed to compete in the first place if you're being held to a standard where you as a content creator are like, oh, you should have more dignity, more pride than this. When realistically, bro, everybody else who's competing in this stuff, and I'm talking the big names as well in this are also doing it. So, hey, this is me fasting up to the fact that, yeah, we dashed out of games that we were going to lose today. And that's how it is, you know, but... I just wanted to see what y'all think, if I'm in the wrong with this, or if that's just, like I said, if you can't beat them, join them. You have to compete with this stuff as long as 2K is gonna allow it, it, other people to do it as well. So that's just my take on it. Let me know what you think. I can't get mad at it, man, because I see, like, bro, when you see other people out there doing stuff and, and you're trying to play straight up, but you're actually trying to compete with them. I mean, it's almost like Barry Bonds, man, or whatever they say. They've been trying to say Barry Bonds was cheating. Hey, if he was or not, I can tell you this, he was a first ballot Hall of Famer prior to any of those allegations and prior to him leaving the Pittsburgh Pirates. That dude was a first ballot Hall of Famer. He had more, what, the, he had already had more, uh, the only, he was like one of the only 400 and 400 guys, only 300, 300 guys like this. He put clubs by himself before he left Pittsburgh. He was a first ballot Hall of Famer then. Then he go to San Diego, all the allegations come, but then he just put himself into another stratosphere. And then people are gonna try to act like, like that's the reason. But the reason, if he did anything, allegedly, is because I see all these other reasons, all the guys around me that absolutely suck, that are getting accolades by doing something that may not may or may not be it was legal at the time so it was just morally wrong but it was legal in baseball so they didn't do anything wrong they aren't doing anything wrong they're not even bending the rules they're indulging in something that the rules allow them to do that just that's morally wrong right and i'm not doing it but they're getting paid better they're getting looking like they're better than me and i'm trying to do it the straight the straight up way so hey him and roger clemens and all them guys man allegedly uh, uh, you know, I'm talking about Barry, not Barry, uh, what's his name? Big Mac, all them guys allegedly said we're better than these guys and they're getting the same paychecks and doing all this. So, hey, I might as well give it a shot too. It is what it is, man. Look, hey, if you can't beat them, join them. If you can't join them, beat them. Hey, what, do whatever you want to do, man. I ain't gonna get mad. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. If I'm not, I'm not. Uh, me, I don't care about the proving grounds that much. I was number 10 in the threes with brute at one time and uh we we wasn't even really paying attention to it we were just playing the game um no need to dashboard out but but i don't take it that seriously though there's big money on the line big money at stake here like if you're number one on those leaderboards for one time then hey 
we don't know maybe you get immortalized maybe you get more views we don't know what the fallout from that is so people gonna do whatever they can do to try to get up there man just like they're gonna post phase you to sleep so they can become the first um the first top rep in the game it just is what it is man but hey all i can tell you is you can't be close like it, it ain't no way you're that close to people that are cheating if you aren't doing something too, and just like Laker fans said, look, y'all, we're, we're, I'm not about to let y'all run past me doing this. I'm going to do the same thing, man. But hey, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. To me, it is what it is. We'll do the drawing for the uh, game on like Friday. Berg already got his copy, so I already told y'all he was going to get his free copy. We we're going to give away another free copy um, or let you do $50. We'll do the drawing on Friday. Make sure y'all there at the stream. You're going to have to be in the stream. Um, and uh, I'm going to pick from the video yesterday. And, uh, We'll talk to y'all later, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I mean, I think everybody cheating. That's what I think. A lot of this stuff. Just like with the rhythm shooting, I found out something about that yesterday, bro. And I was like, I knew something had to be going on because it's just too many people that's rhythm shooting now when they were when they were condemning it uh, to begin with. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time. Hey, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Speak, speak.